Hey K-popers and welcome back to How Are You? Today's deep dive is going to be a ton of fun. If you're a regular watcher, you'll know I often do deep dives on K-pop for a specific year like 2015, 2018, or most recently 2020. But this time we're throwing back to 2009, a legendary year in K-pop where so many iconic groups got their start. If you've been a K-pop fan for a while, you're about to have all the nostalgia, and if you're a newer K-pop fan, you'll be discovering some all-time greats and seeing just what K-pop was like 12 years ago. Before we get started, a quick thank you to Hallyu's honorary producers. Hallyu's patrons get to show off their bias group right here in every video, they get to have their say in future videos and projects on the channel, and they get access to the official Hallyu Discord server where they can chat about K-pop and even listen to it together. So if you want to leave your mark on Hallyu and be a part of our growing community, come join us over on Patreon. Alright, now let's hop into our time machines and go back to January 2009 so we can experience the epic year of K-pop releases. As you can probably guess, K-pop wasn't as established in 2009 as it is today, and there simply wasn't the same volume of new music that we have today, so I'll be splitting it up by quarters instead of individual months. And the first quarter of 2009 started off with arguably the most iconic K-pop song to ever come out. Releases by Kara and Super Junior and a big girl group debut also highlighted the first three months of the year. Things started to really pick up in April with more great releases and two more girl group debuts that would both become legends in their own right. I'm 
제자 왜 우리 맘의 문을 닫고 슬픔을 등에 지고 살아가는 바보 두 눈을 감고 무등기를 막고 캄캄한 어둠 속에 내 자신을 감고 차가요 내 사랑 이젠 보내줄게 The third quarter of 2009 saw a popular boy group SS501 solo collection drop along with several MVs, and in keeping with the trend, another two legendary girl groups got their start as well. I'm only got 
The final three months of the year were by far the strongest, specifically October. Four groups debuted in the span of three days, and we got more music from G Dragon, 4 Minute, Tiara, and many other legendary artists. <laughs>
Alright guys, we've finished our trip through the year 2009. What did you think of the K-pop world 12 years ago? I was astounded by how many huge groups got their start all in that year. It was an incredible 12 months for the second generation of K-pop. Thank you so much for watching this deep dive and let me know which other years from the past that you'd like to see a deep dive for. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss all the K-pop content coming your way right here at Hallyu. This has been deep dive number 36, K-pop in 2009.